Hi, I'm Dr. Richard Chambers, a mindfulness consultant in the Campus Community Division at Monash University. Mindfulness is about being fully aware and present and engaged in each moment of our lives. And we all experience this throughout the day. For instance, when we're doing things we enjoy or engaged in our hobbies. Um, but we also spend a lot of the time, you might have noticed, distracted, thinking about the future or the past or caught up in those stories in our mind, self-criticism, thinking about ourselves, daydreams, that kind of thing. In fact, some researchers at Harvard a few years ago were looking at the relationship between what we pay attention to and how happy we are, and they found that we spend half of our lives distracted. They put an app on people's smartphones that would ping them randomly throughout the day and ask them what they were doing and how happy they were on a scale of 1 to 100, and also what they were paying attention to when that alert went off and they found that 46.9% uh, of the time people reported being completely distracted by something else rather than paying attention to what they're doing. And of course that has pretty significant implications for our lives. I mean it means you're sitting in a, a lecture that goes for an hour. Well for about half an hour you may be listening to what the lectures, lecturer is saying and for about half the time you're daydreaming about something else or of course increasingly on Facebook or using your phone. And so we miss important information and we get a very superficial understanding of what's being said. Plus, you might have noticed that where your attention tends to go can often be quite unuseful or even unpleasant because we're very prone to worrying about the future, dwelling on the past. We have a negativity bias in our brain, which means that on average we notice and remember about seven times as many unpleasant things as pleasant things, which makes sense evolutionarily. You know, you think about how the human brain evolved. Once upon a time, we had to be on the lookout constantly for very real physical threats, distracted, wondering what's rustling in the bushes over there, what's moving over there. And so we've hardwired in this negativity bias. And of course, even though it's much safer living in a place like Melbourne in, in you know, current day, we still have this same tendency to look for problems. And so when our mind's in that distracted mode, it's very easy to get caught up worrying about assessments and deadlines and things that might go wrong that might probably never going to happen or dwelling on mistakes we've made or things that people said to us. And this can open us up to things like stress and anxiety, depression. And of course, meanwhile, we're just not performing at our best. And so what mindfulness offers us is a way of retraining this habit. So we can use what's called mindfulness meditation, which really means attention training, where we just focus our attention on one thing that's happening in the present moment. So of course, what's happening right now is happening through the senses. So if we feel the sensations in the body, if we notice what we can see, what we can hear, that anchors our attention in the present moment. And then of course, we engage more fully with what's really going on. Plus, we can notice when the attention wanders off, which it will, it just does that, like I said, half the time. And we can't stop that from happening. But if we practice mindfulness, we can learn to recognize when the mind has wandered, and then we can just bring it back. And as we practice doing that, we get better at noticing when it's wandered, so quicker at bringing the attention back. We spend more time in the present. And we also learn to bring the attention back without any further thinking, or evaluation or judgment of ourselves or thinking about what we got distracted by. We just learn to notice and come back. And as we practice that over and over again in periods of mindfulness meditation, it just becomes easier. And in fact, it starts to rewire the brain. Every time the attention wanders and we bring it back, we form new connections in the prefrontal cortex. And as we do that repeatedly, the prefrontal cortex gets stronger, just like a muscle which means that then when we sit down to study or we're in a lecture or we're trying to pay attention to the, what our food tastes like or what our friends are saying when they're talking to us, we're just a little bit more able to pay attention. We also strengthen other parts of the brain like the hippocampus, the long-term memory area, that kind of thing. So there are a lot of benefits of mindfulness meditation in particular and mindfulness generally. As I said at the start, mindfulness just means being fully present and aware in each moment. And we can practice that in any moment of the day. Right now, you could just notice, where's your attention? Are you listening to what I'm saying? Are you distracted? And you could just bring the attention back to what's happening right now. And so, 
Practicing meditation on a regular basis really builds that mindful muscle, which we can then apply in every other moment of our lives. And that's really the value of mindfulness. If that's interesting to you, we offer a range of programs here at the university. If you Google Monash Mindfulness, you'll find our webpage with a list of all of our free programs. Um, mindfulness for academic success, mindful stress reduction, mindful relationships, excellent group programs that will teach you how to establish a mindfulness meditation practice and then apply it in different areas of your life to improve performance and productivity, reduce stress and improve your well-being, have better relationships. You could also download the free Smiling Mind app which is a great meditation app. Get it on your phone, press play on guided meditations ranging from one minute to 45 minutes in duration. Very useful resource, so just you know, sitting on the train on the way to uni or before a lecture or before you hop into bed if you have trouble getting to sleep. Very useful uh, resource.